The city of Topeka and Topeka Police Department are investigating what happened when Tamiko Mitchell was arrested August 23rd. She's filed a complaint alleging the officer used excessive force causing injuries to her face. 13's Danielle Martin spoke with Tamiko Mitchell today and what happened down Dan Melissa, Tamiko Mitchell says she was headed to pick up her daughter from work just before 10 p.m. on August 23rd. She was pulled over for running a red light and told the officer her license was suspended. Mitchell and her attorney, her attorney LaRonna Lassiter Saunders, spoke with me today about what they say happened next. He went back to get my information and he just came back and just opened my door and demanded I cut my car off. Tamiko Mitchell says she turned off her car, unbuckled her seatbelt and started to get out. She says what the officer did next went too far. I stepped out of the car and as I took my initial step, one foot out on the ground, he just grabbed me and grabbed my, grabbed my arm and, and uh, twisted in my um, I have previous injuries and that was what was hurting while I was asked and just let me uh, turn around. I was handcuffed after he body slammed me. Um, he put me in a full Nelson and he swung around and body slammed me face first. Mitchell says a female officer was also on the scene but did not react. Mitchell said she requested a supervisor. Well, she looks just fine to me. Those are his exact words. But I got a fractured nose in my eyes, so I'm not just fine. Mitchell was then taken to a local hospital by the ambulance. She says she's seen the body camera footage of the officer's interaction with her. It was more heartening, just uh, heartening, just to know that I, he didn't care. I didn't matter. I'm a human being. I'm somebody's mother. I'm a grandmother. I'm somebody's friend, sister. I'm somebody. Chief Bill Cochran has said the officer felt Mitchell was resisting arrest and while intentionally taking her to the ground, they went off a curb. Evidence speaks for itself. A slip and fall would not result in fracture, severely damaged eye, or the trauma. Saunders says they want the city and police department to take action. If you have an officer that is not meeting the expectations, and these should not be Black Lives Matters expectations. These should not be people of color expectations. These, this should be city of Topeka. We want our police officers to be honorable. We want to make sure that we're not scared in our own backyard to go pick up our daughters from work. And if we are pulled over, that we're safe. I just want people to care. Just be humane. That's all. Now, Mitchell's lawyers and advocates say that she wants to be clear that they are not against the police. They want disciplinary action to be taken against the officer involved. Lassiter Saunders also said she has spoken with Chief Cochran about the incident. Melissa.